We're looking at CapCut to use as an audio editor for podcasting. So here's a project I cr created earlier. I need to tap on that. Make sure you're the scissors bottom left, which is the editing option. That'll give you access to your project library. So I'm going to tap on that. Notice that as soon as I load this underneath, I've got this little wavelet in blue. So if you look here, I've got this bunch of little waves like this. This is the audio element. What you can do is you can actually do the pinch option to stretch it bigger. So notice how the waves become longer and wider. As we can see, if I pinch, notice how the waves become more concentrated. So this allows you to zoom in to particular parts of audio that you want to remove. So let's say if we can see over here when I pinch and zoom, I've got a gap here. If you notice, I've got a little gap here. So the way we do get rid of that, just like we do in video, I'm going to go just before here. I'm going to tap. Notice that the screen now becomes, this is white and the timeline is here. So I'm going to split. So I'm going to hit split. Notice now that I've got a little line up here so if i look over here i've got the first line of split that that allows me to create a transition when we look at that and then if i go to the other side just here just before the next one i'm gonna tap notice again it becomes white here and i'm just before there so i'm gonna split there just like that so look for the split icon tap split Tap anywhere on the screen and notice now that I have the following. So I have this and this and the gap is here and this is what I want to remove. I want to remove. I need to look for the bin icon. So the bin looks something like that. So now I'm going to tap it. Tap the middle. Sometimes what does happen is sometimes you have to force it also which is what I hate about the editor sometimes you have to force it because it didn't do the split at the bottom so I'm gonna hit split here go to the other side make sure you don't make my mistake because I think there's a glitch in here sometimes it used to do it just straight so I'm gonna tap here hit split again so now notice that we have a gap so if I tap here i'm gonna hit delete notice that there's a gap if i hit here notice again that as i hit i need to go to the delete yes so i need to tap on that and it's playing up again so that's moved but what you'll notice is that there is a gap here it should it should in theory once that moves the gap should move so this should keep be going left so what you may have to do is to manually tap on your audio and move it then what you can do is make sure you listen to it back what do we do we hit the playhead remember so our playhead is here that allows us to listen and then we go along and we look for gaps and all those mistakes once we're ready, we're going to go to the top right here. So that's play. We've done all that. Top right, there is your save option here. And we want to change this to minimum. So we want the minimum size. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to tap here. Then we want to take this only, this one here only and take it all the way down to 480 okay so what we're going to do is take that slider down to 480 notice if you look here now it says 480 and then when you're going to do that is save Once you do that, it's going to save it to your camera roll and then you're ready to take your video that you've just saved and rendered as 480 
into Dolby On, which allows us to enhance the audio before we take it into Spotify for podcasters. Thank you so much for listening. 